All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game, One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Crusader Kings 3 Tours and Tournaments Part 58. And we are currently Pharaoh Pi the Witch of Greater Egypt. This will not be for very long. Um, it might only be this episode. It might be a couple episodes. We'll, time will tell. Um, uh, before I forget, I do want to say that tomorrow's episode will still be normal. But the one, the two after tomorrow's episode are going to be um, recorded at the same time. I have family visiting Wednesday and Thursday this week, and so I'm not going to be able to play without being a rude jerk to my family. <laughs> and not giving them the attention they deserve for visiting, blah blah blah. So, uh, I won't be able to implement your comments right away for the Wednesday and Thursday episodes. But after the Wednesday and Thursday episodes, we'll be back to the norm. And you'll still be getting an episode each day. I just won't be able to implement the, com the comments right away. So I do apologize about that. Uh, so there's that. That's, I just wanted to get that out of the way before I forgot. And also, something else I found out is that when we put Pi in the correct gear, now that he's wearing the correct stuff, you do not get to pick what color they are in this game. You have no control over that. I even googled it, looked it up. You, this is not in our hands. Whatever color this man chooses is what color he's wearing. So Pi decided these were his colors. This is the same outfit that, minus the ring on his hand, is the same outfit that Minkare was wearing, but instead of being all gold, it's got some blue, some red, some gold. Interesting. Interesting. Um, so there's nothing I can do about that. That just makes Minkare even cooler, if we're being honest. The fact that Minkare decided that, you know what? Hell, I'm gonna be all gold because I'm that guy. But here we are, as Pi. We know that Pi is content. So this little uh, rollover here, where we'll probably negotiate an alliance with Meritides. And then Ajaron and Greater Egypt will join as soon as uh, succession happens. And Meritides takes over basically everything except for this one little duchy. That um, her sisters will, her sister and brother will take over. So if we make this alliance here, then Meritides will just inherit everything. You know what I mean? So if we ever need an alliance, we can definitely do that. She is impatient, so she might be wanting to bring things back together already, which could be a little alarming. We have so much to do, so much to do. Dynasty Legacy, you guys said that you guys wanted to do Fecund. It's just straight up a better perk than Giant is. But let me actually wait until Pi moves on. Just in case those five years get added to his health, you know what I mean? So we'll wait for Pi to move on. And when we take over his Meritides, then we'll buy the Fecund trait. I'm going to wait to found a city of wonder when we're Meritides as well. Um, we can create an accolade. Uh, Loremaster pointed out that our Defender of the Nile accolade was actually owned by a Tullinid. But when the Empire split, we actually lost that accolade. It must have gone with the other title, with Ajaron. So, Meritides currently has that guy, I guess. We don't, for better or worse. Let's uh, make a new accolade, then. And Severko would be a great guy for an accolade if he's got good traits. 31 prowess. How old is he? 43. Not too old, but a little old. Vanguard would help heavy infantry. If it was Now, if it was heavy cavalry, I'd be excited. Outrider? Tell me. Ah, it's light cavalry. Damn. Damn. We do have heavy infantry, to be fair. So this Vanguard wouldn't be bad. It's better than these other options. And then Valiant? Along with these others. What does Valiant do? Army damage? Okay. This actually isn't bad. The Terror of Demons. Calm down. Uh, what are our current accolades right now? We have the Child of the Flame and the Servant of the Sun. If this is going to be straight up dealing damage and just messing people up, let's create this accolade with the with the starting name of the Sword of Amun Ra. Not the sword, but a sword of Amun Ra, a weapon of Amun Ra, to make this happen. Our heavy, our three thousand heavy infantry are going to be better for this. And our whole army is going to do extra damage. So, let's create that accolade with Severko. He looks like he's ready for the jit. He's ready for the gig. There we go. I like that. 
And the Servant of the Sun, by the way, Sansnow is doing an excellent job as the Servant of the Sun. He's closing in on rank 6 glory. He's at 1887, a little over 200 away. And he's still in fine health at 49. Sansnow has lived up to what he needed to live up to as the Servant of the Sun. That's awesome. And the Child of the Flame, Mahmood, um, he's also in fine health. He's getting there. He'll, he might reach rank 5 before he passes on. Xanthos will be a decent next person as well, so that's actually looking pretty good. Uh, we don't have a successor for the Servant of the Sun, so let's seek a worthy accolade successor, absolutely. Okay, very good. So that's one more thing knocked out. We got a lot to do. Uh, sending children to university, we could send Nefertiti. These people are already at college. This is just sending them to a different college, which I don't want to do. But Nefertiti's not at a college. But Arma... No, Nefertiti's just another kid. Let's let's calm down. If Nesut Jur of Arabia... What? Oh, why? Because, oh, got it, because she'll lose it to Meritides. That's fine. That's fine. We can lose that land. The whole... See, the common folk of the Empire of Greater Egypt know what's happening here. They know that technically Pi the Witch is the man in charge of Greater Egypt. But they also know that soon it will be Meritides. Before the decade is out, they know it will be Meritides. This is no secret to anybody. Pi does have divine blood, so he'll live long just like his father did. But he won't live to be over a hundred like his father did. Because he's not the direct son. He's a grandson of Amun-Ra. Which is cool to think about. Um, let me see how the old the oldest person was when we passed away. 92 is the oldest person in the world after Menkare passed. And in our, in like, our, in our, like, diplomatic range, top realm is like, you and, oh, never mind, that's just in our realm. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Um, your realm, vassals, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah. In our realm, we're the oldest. By four years, Pi lived a long time. I don't know how he lasted so long. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Low county control there is kind of not great, but that's all right. We're gonna have to redo this again once um, once we pass on to Meritides. Jur is not our high shaman. Who planned that out? Nesut Jur has to be the high shaman. She's a menace at learning. Do you see this? Let me hit Pi. Let me hit play for one day here. There we go. So those are Pi's stats. As considering the fact he's incapable. It's actually really stellar. Promote culture wear. Okay, a 10 is Sunborn. Let's get Per Magi as Sunborn next, maybe? No, let's get Psy. That makes sense. Uh, Psy might do it himself. I doubt it. Let's just go for that for now. It'll only take him two years. Okay. I'll do that later on a different ruler. This is kind of an interim period. He he will always be known as the second pharaoh. I don't know why I said that at the end. Meritides is not the second pharaoh. She'll be the third, obviously. Though the second pharaoh's rule will be excessively short, he is full-blown the second pharaoh of the Empire of Greater Egypt. So, credit where you do, Pi. Let's see how you do. What decisions can we make, if any? We're incapable, so we can't make any we can't make any choices. That is tough, actually. Can develop the capital. At least do something with your life here. Diligent planning is paying off. Invite some champions in case we find somebody good. Yeah, I mean, that. I guess that's it. A strange noise. Oh! Oh! <laughs> You're a dust doorstep. I arrived back at my castle after a long, lonely walk. Another year passed, another year older. I was born this day 85 years ago. The older I get, the more I cherish the relationships I've cultivated over the years. So it saddens me that I've not heard from my wife Sinner or any of my friends today. I trudge along to my chambers, loneliness impeding my lazy feet, when I hear a clang and hush whispers from down the hallway. At least you're able to walk. As incapable, usually you can't do that. Happy birthday! 
With what a surprise, all my nearest and dearest friends have come together to wish me well as we begin this next year of life. My first year as a pharaoh. This is big for pie. There is an, even an entire table laden with pomegranate cakes, my favorite. Hero was thinking that everyone had forgotten about me. I cannot believe that Sinna went to all the trouble of arranging this in secret. I had not a clue such a thoughtful surprise was being planned at all. My friend Agape approaches me struggling to carry three beautifully wrapped packages. Ever the trickster, she says, I have three gifts here for the choosing. One shall be yours, but which shall it be? We'll take the large one. The Sunborn Mace. That's not bad. Yeah, apparently... <laughs> uh, yeah. It's a good idea to not spend too much gold so you can afford mercenaries or gifts, blah blah blah. Wait, hold up. Your vassal Siaka created the dissolution faction. Ooh. Wow, look at our levy count. Just got decimated, by the way, when we became Pi. Look at our military. We went... F Whoa. Yeah, that's actually crazy. When Menkare was in charge, the son of Amun-Ra, the absolute monster of a man he was, our, our army count was way higher than the 16,000 this is saying that we have. What was it when he died? I want to look now. It had to be in the 40,000s, right? And then as soon as Menkare dies, over half of the levies quit. And now there's a 7,000 army and a 9,000 army. That is insane. We went from easily the strongest military in the land to still the strongest military in the land, but not easily anymore. Wow, that is a little surprising to be honest. Okay. Well, let's keep going, Pi. Let's keep living it. It's not like we can do anything. You're incapable. I'm not allowed to make many choices. Look at that. I can barely do anything. Uh, poor guy. Umaya! 15 and a holy warrior. He is Minkari. I think 15... No, not with 10 champions being allowed. Oh my god, dude! Our empire is so much worse now. It's insane. 17 is the cutoff. Yo, What? How much would he cost? 60 gold? I'll think about it. I'll think about it. How's Aladdin doing? He's still winning his wars. Right now he's winning against Tahirt. He doesn't have many people left. He's definitely running out of steam, but he's winning. Tahirid, sorry. Who is this? Who is this guy? I don't even remember who this was. Oh, he was Herculean, so I was keeping track of him. I can unpin that. Ramon, the man, the myth, the legend. Um, you thought you the strong of Tahama? What? Ah, oh, she's already pregnant. You don't want that. Uh, you thought you have lost the. Uh... Are you pure blooded? You're not. So we don't want to inbreed too much, since you're not pure blooded. Sinna, your granddaughter. She's diligent and content so far. Could be a supporting factor. She has... She's the oldest sibling of who? So she's gonna take over land. Kaya? Wow, look at that stat line on a 14-year-old. Damn! She's gonna be good at intrigue too. That's kind of fire. She's the older sibling of... Akmakis? So she's not... She has no claims on anything. Kaya might be perfect. <laughs> Never mind. 99% chance of inbred. Let's hold off on that. We'll find Ramon a partner when we're playing as Meritides, I suppose. <laughs> no, we... Ah, man, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Ramon does need a partner, doesn't he? My wife, Cinna. Ramon. Ramon, Ramon. Um... Let me find let me find some people near his age group that are really talented. It's looking pretty thin to be honest. Not seeing a lot so far. All right, I'll have to do this off camera. I don't I don't want to waste too much time here. Yeah, the 99% inbreed is not happening. Okay, keep going. Pi is at death's doorstep. He's looking a little rough. Looking a little rough. Court traits, okay. What's going on here? 
The Kingdom of Aten has a tyranny war against Cleopatra? She, she does not have that. Oh my god. What happens if she loses? She gets deposed. And then who takes over? A Sanesu? A spindly Terraman, but he is handsome and intelligent. Bet oh, he's betrothed to Kaya. So Kaya wasn't going to work anyway. That's not a bad match, actually. Uh, hopefully Cleopatra can pull something out with, like, the Holy Warriors or something. But I don't think she's going to win or hold on to that one. That one might be a mess. Uh-oh, now what's happening here? Oh, that's right. Oh, God, she's got problems there, too. Ah, uh, Cleopatra, you're not doing it. Ghana now speaks Egyptian. Wait a minute. Look at Egyptians spread across the courts. Africa is loving the Egyptian language right now. Okay. I love how you can also see where there are no courts yet. Everywhere you see blank space, that's where there's not a kingdom there. There's less than a kingdom in that space. So, like, all this area here, no kingdoms. All this space, no kingdoms or empires. Kingdoms or empires. This little space right here, not a kingdom or an empire. But everything else is kingdom or empire. And Greek is spread all the way into Norseland? What? In Scandinavia, they're speaking Greek? In Eastland? Whoa, that's actually kind of crazy. Pay a ransom for who? No. Decline. Alright. That's that's fascinating, actually. Oh, pie. I don't want to declare a war, because he could go out at any second, and then we'd have to take over as Meritides, and it'd be all awkward. Sow, 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 sow. What? Doesn't this look too far up? I don't know, man. That seems sketchy to me. Artifacts with low durability. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, I don't know. Indulgences from Elpis? You don't really need it, but you can go ahead. Mighty Antelope Hide? Yeah, I don't really need that either. Don't really need that. Yes, repair that. That needs a repair. Marriage Prayer Brooch? I don't really need... Th oh, this is about to go, too. Maybe we can give this to somebody. We're not greedy anymore. Oh my god, we can actually send gifts. Just send it to her. Let's let's do a little test. No, not that kind of gift. Send an artifact. Yeah, gift artifact. If I chose a really bad thing, like about to break marriage brooch, would it be would it be like a zero gain? Five opinion. Hey, there you go. <laughs> nice. So even if it's not great, oh, Maritides is pregnant with her fourth child. All daughters so far. We'd love a son. Actually, you know what? Aspasia is not pure-blooded. Tetisheri is pure-blooded, but Ramon isn't. Never mind. That ruins my whole plan, to be honest. King Johan has lost against Doge of Venice for the county of Padua. Venice is expanding. You know Venice pops off. I love this about Venice. <laughs> Venice is four counties... But they said, nah, 6,000 men. 2,000 of those are mercenaries, but still. I love how, like, just the city of Venice is so absolutely cracked. 2,400 levies and 15 gold a month from this one city. Amongst and other things. Like, <laughs> Venice is just... In every playthrough we've done, Venice is this tiny little space that just absolutely pops off. Even though it's only, like, three counties. Very cool. Maybe a tall playthrough would be fun there, actually. Could be, could be. Southern East Iranian. Oh god, what did my daughter do? Granddaughter Euthalia is copulated with her lover Hatia Hanit. Yep. Berenice is a bastard. Shoot, man. Stop it. The cheating is out of control. Out of control. Okay. A worthy... Oh, he's a legendary blade master, so he's got that going for him. Yeah. He doesn't have holy sites helping him out very much. We have the control of the holy sites. We just... Oh, his level of devotion is one. Yeah, that'll do it. 
All right. The fact that our our incapable Pi has 23 prowess is kind of disgusting, to be honest. How is he so strong? Who let him do this? Ooh, actually, let me look at that again. Look at Menkari spread. Okay. Okay. Amira E2. One against your other neighbor, Mai Foon, in the, for the Chiefdom of Doyado. Chiefdom of Doyado. Yep, we did see that. Sal was losing that battle. And she ended up losing it. Delhi and Delhi in the Liberty War. Oh, so this is the Pratahara Raj within Delhi, and then there's Delhi. Interesting, interesting. Like I said, I don't want to declare a war right now, because any moment could be his last. Decrease to nine? How? What do you mean? We're still increasing. Oh, boy. What, what does our court positions look like? We don't have a chief artist. <sighs> My grandson, Pi? Oh, what a talented man. A zealous... <laughs> That's a chief artist right there, for sure. Check this man. Pin him. Keep a track of that guy. Dude, look at that stat line! What? He's good at everything, and his personality is amazing. That's awesome. Make her an executioner for what she did? For bringing, an un for bringing a forbidden life into this world, now you're cursed to forever end the lives of those around you? Ooh, let me know what y'all think about that story, because that could be it. We could also banish her. We could also banish her. Should we banish Agape, or should we make her the court executioner? Let me know what you think in the comments. Architect. We're going to want one of those soon. Let's let uh, Mahmood take over for now. Because now we can actually build things. Oh, we don't have a food taster. Yeah, we want that. He's got a good personality and is also good at the job. Rational antagonist. No, we don't like that. Cowardly knave. Mm. A bold atheist. An analytic zealot. Very zealous and very rational. I don't want to put him in more danger, though. Because that's a dangerous job, being a food taster. Somewhat bold, somewhat cynical. Very dishonorable, somewhat vengeful. Wow, we have terrible personalities for this role. Honorable Empath. Here we go. Very compassionate and honorable. She's not long for this world, but she is still in fine health. She'll do a good job. She'll be a good food taster. Oh, man. Yeah, perfect. Okay. We don't have a court physician! What are we doing? Pi, I'm gonna give you that job. I know you're average at it now, but watch, watch you soar through the ranks. It's gonna be incredible. Just watch you soar. Yeah, let me know what you think about Executioner. Should we make Agape the ex Executioner as her curse? For bringing a forbidden life into the world? Or should we just banish her and get rid of the problem entirely? Let me know. The Terraman Dynasty is known far and wide. We are now... We are now significant. What the f*** happened? Oh my god. God, our renown! <laughs> as soon as Menkare passed, and everything spread out to a bunch of different rulers, immediately, our renown went from like 7.5 a, a month to 41 per month. Our renown is about to skyrocket, are you kidding me? This is crazy. That is actually so crazy. Because they all have their own courts, of course. Their court grandeur levels are above where they should be. Of course. Of course. Okay, I get it, I get it. Okay, Cleopatra, you have a lot of my artifacts. Yeah, I need... <laughs> I need our stuff back. She'll just accept? Must be a banner of your dynasty. That's messed up. You will give us the Terraman Dynasty banner back. Well, that's good, at least. We're gonna have to get the others back another way. God, I want that back. God, I want the... First, let's request this. She'll give it back. Request the Dynasty banner. And then we're gonna have to figure out a way to get the other the other things back. Ooh. Ooh. I need this back first. 
Excellent, excellent. This will never succeed because we're going to die before that finishes, but start heist is awesome. What a crazy thing to say. I'm trying to get a successor to the Servant of the Sun. I, I, oh, Argonos, got it. We just hadn't appointed him yet, gotcha. Argonos, you have a proud lineage in front of you, let me tell you. A proud rank, a proud accolade. The Servant of the Sun is almost maximum rank. You better live up to that. It's a lot to live up to, but you better live up to that. Alright, we have the Terraman Dynasty banner back. Good. Put it back up. That's like the bare minimum of what we should have. There we go. At least we have the most important thing back. Our court banner. Then the Dynasty banner will keeps improving as our renown improves. In case you didn't know that. Sunborn culture has embraced the by the sword tradition. There it is. We can now declare unlimited holy kingdom wars. We cannot get another tradition until our innovations reach high medieval, which can't happen till 1050 anyway, and we are missing seven uh, medieval era texts before we can do that. But we're working on it. Communal government in six years is pretty soon. I bet she's getting scorched in this. She hasn't started losing yet. Expiring Blade Master. Kinda getting older, scaly. Nah, no, we'll let that one go. Regent Further's mandate. Regent's now more powerful. Oh yeah, our Regent, that's right. Uh, she is excellent. She's very good at filling the coffers and really good at promoting authority. Swelling armies, she's not so good at, but she is selfless, which is great. We get plus three domain limit, which is kind of wild. Doesn't matter, but kind of wild. Three of these people are selfless. Um, a set of TC, my half-sister, is a little self-interested. She's negative 100 compassion for incapable. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, man. Yeah, that's tough. Uh, three. It's not good. Let's swing the scales. We've got the resources to do it. Let's leverage our piety. We have so much. Pharaoh's word is law when it helps. Ask for intercession from your head of faith. We don't need to do that. No. That's... No. Spend 250 piety. Yeah. Swings 10 our way. There you go. Swing the scales. The region is now less powerful. As long as she can't do some weird, like vassal title stuff. We're alright. How's Meritidi's looking? There it is. There it is! We just started! Less than half of the episode done and we we're already through. The, the second pharaoh, Usurmatra Setepenra Pai, 85 years of age, ruled for nine months. Not even a year. But there he was. In all his wonder. You have died. Usarmacha Setapenra, Pai of Greater Egypt, has left this world at 85 years of age. He died of old age. Known to be a respected scholar, he spent most of his days studying in his library, rarely leaving his castle. Pharaoh Meritides ascends to the throne. A godly woman, Meritides is sure to impress the Hemnyaters with her extensive knowledge of the hieroglyphs. We lost three really unimportant things. Perfect. And there's the lineage. A hundred and four years as Menkare, this absolute goaded legend. And then we spent nine months as Pi. That's funny. That is funny. Yeah, he even had like a belt thing on his armor that Pi didn't have. But you can see I gave him the same gear. I don't know, guys. It's like he was all gold and awesome looking and Pi was like red and blue, please. I don't know. But now it's time for Pharaoh Meritides, who we take over at 37. That's fairly young to take over as. Continue as Usarmatra Setapenra Meritides. Pharaoh Meritides. The third Pharaoh of the Empire of Greater Egypt. And the great, great granddaughter of Amun Ra herself. Here we are. Now, obviously, before anything else, we need to change our main title.
Excellent. So here we are, back in Greater Egypt. We have many issues in our in, in our empire, looks like. Who's struggling here? Sin of the Stouts is attacking us. Attacking us? Wow, she already got into a whole war, huh? Interesting. Interesting. Okay, she's not as well loved as we would have liked. Some tax. Oh, Anamor Terramon and Ankhmakis Terramon are fantastic tax collectors, clearly. We have no lifestyle. We have two learning perks we can currently unlock. And we have two diplomacy perks we can currently unlock. Force Vassalage is going to be good. We don't really need it any not so much now that we have By the Sword, but it's still going to be good. As will True Ruler over here. We're almost a theologian, which isn't great, but sure. She's a mastermind philosopher, yeah. Okay. Alright. There's Ramon, Ramses, and Nefertiti. Her older siblings will obviously pass on far ahead of her. There's only set of TC and Jur left. And then it's just the three younger brothers she had. Well, the two younger brothers and the younger sister. 46 prowess. Pop off, Meritides. Um, we could go right into the diplomacy stuff first, and then after five years, switch to learning to get everything else. Like, we could go to diplomacy first to get forced vassalage and true ruler, maybe. We don't need that prestige. We don't need true ruler anymore. Never mind. I mean, I, I want true ruler, but it's not worth going all the way over there for it, you know? Adaptive traditions, defensive negotiations, embassies. <sighs> I wish we could just place these two perks without having to take a lifestyle and commit five years to it, to be honest. Children receive extra points could be good, though. Yeah, from pedagogy. Alright, let's just do five years of diplomacy and then we'll switch over to learning. Um, foreign affairs focus. We don't. I think our prestige is gonna be fine. Yeah, our prestige is fine. We don't need prestige. Twenty one. Adding one more is not gonna do it. Let's go here. Foreign affairs focus. Grab thoughtful. Grab ducal conquest, and then force vassalage soon, and then we'll go over to family hierarchy. We'll do the learning perks when we. Oh, is it letting me now? What? Okay, that's not how I thought that worked, but alright. Here's pedagogy. Okay, not how I thought any of this worked, but learning experience, I suppose. Alright, Dynasty Legacy, let's take Beacon now. Unlock. Architected Ancestry, allowing us to have more Beacon. Excellent. Then Octogenarians will be the next one, which we are cruising on, because our renown is insane. It went down a little bit, because now we have less Emperors total, but... Yeah, everything's back together. Okay, core, core, okay, core artifacts. Do you have another throne? Nah, it's just a garbage one. No small wall ornaments. We're missing so many things. Yeah, we're missing so many items that got handed out to other family members. I mean, it still improves the other family members' courts. So I, like, I don't hate it, if I'm being honest. Like, it's not a bad thing that our other people, our other family's courts got better. Cleopatra having that one item is kind of a real bummer, if I'm being honest. How do I see her court? Uh, I don't know how to see her court. There's a way to do it. I know there is. I know for a fact there is. I just don't remember how. How do you do it? Whoops. the capital. Uh, shoot, dude. I don't remember at all. I don't remember at all, but you know what we can do, speaking of capitals? It's time. What was happening here, y'all? You realize you have the royal military now. You don't need to worry about all this. You're not going to lose this war, I'll tell you that. 
Um, stationed in Dongola. Okay, they're already stationed. Okay, everybody's stationed then. Yeah, you don't gotta worry about this military right here. Not a problem. I'm gonna go ahead and make Alexandria the capital, of course. It's not captured right now, is it? It's not. Good. Though its company is. Can't do it while we're at war. That's fair. That's for the sake of balance in a video game. That is completely fair. How long would it take to raise? 14 days? That's what I wanted to see. Radia is busy. Where? Is she ruling one of these? We're ruling this one. Radia's on this one. Got it. Okay. So if we let if we remove the commander from this army, we can have the professional army ruled over by Radia, who's our main marshal right now. Men at arms is a little low. Above limit paying 40% extra. That's crazy, actually. We're gonna have to fix that kinda soon. I'm assuming it's something with our personality. Is there a marshal that we had taken that gave us more men at arms groups? Doesn't look like it. Why are we missing groups? Why are we at six? S five from Pharaoh, one from Ancient Egyptian. What was giving us two before? We're the wrong culture. <laughs> Hold up. Sunborn. How do, how do I convert? Uh, what? Where is the convert to culture? Because she's still ancient Egyptian and we need to switch that. Okay, I'm going to have to figure that out soon. We don't need to isolate the capital, I don't think. No, we're good on that. Honestly, this group can disband. And this military can disband. And the professional army can take over. We can hold court. Hell yeah, we can. We can hold a grand tournament? Hell yeah, we can. Oh, dude, our accolades are terrible. No! The accolades got handed somewhere else. Someone else has them now. Oh, no! Our accolades! <laughs> no! You're kidding me. Let me hit play just in case, but I don't think so. Oh, man. Oh, man. Is it because of our culture? I really need to figure this out. How do I switch cultures? Whoops. Convert, no. I'm just looking for someone that I can switch to that's Sunborn. There should be plenty of them out there. I thought this was one way to do it. We should alliance. No. How do I become another culture? Hold up. I'm gonna actually just make an edit here. I'm literally gonna Google this because I can't believe how hard they're making this. And I need to know because it, it's something that should have happened in the first place. I'll be right back. Alright, that actually was only like 30 seconds. Hopefully I remembered to edit that out. <laughs> We're at war. That's why we can't convert culture. I'm willing to accept that. We'll finish this real soon. I get a 45%. That's the whole military though, right? That's everything. That's the whole military. Excellent. Good. We can take care of it all in one fell swoop. Let's hold court. Oh my god, I still have to give her her garb. Hopefully she's more gold than... Why does she look so angry? Hopefully she wears more gold than Pi did. Well, it's Imperial Crown with Head Wrap. Where is it? Wait, what? Don't tell me it's a man-only attire. I'd be so devastated. Wait, actually? No way. No way it's a man-only head wrap. You're kidding me. 
There's no way. We're gonna have to have different royal head attire for different genders. What? Oh my god. Um... Imperial Crown 1. Does that have any Christian stuff on it? Let me zoom in a bit. It's not gonna let me. I'm not seeing any Christian stuff on it. And then if we go to Headwear 2 and make a veil there. So welcome back. <laughs> For the second time in our playthrough, the game went ahead and crashed on us while we were trying to customize the attire of Meritides. Which sent us all the way back here, and I'm really hoping I don't forget to do something and mess things up. Yes, sponsor the crown. Oh, man, we had to have clicked on that? Uh-oh. Well, good thing we clicked on this, I guess. Uh, do I have the Dynasty banner back yet? No, okay, we have to regain the banner. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, I really hope I don't forget to do something. Request the Dynasty Banner. Oh, we can demand artifacts in general, I just saw. That's actually really big. Okay, we should die around the same time, I would imagine. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, we can just demand an artifact. We don't even need to steal it. What was I doing? Oh, you can only demand an artifact every five years. Okay. Oh, well. Um. Oh, Jesus. Swing the scales. Using piety. Do that. Don't forget to do that. Ah, oh, what else did we do? And there's no way for me to convert Meritides to our culture. And we can only do it as her when we're no longer at war. And right now she's in the middle of losing the war here. Shoot, guys. Just lost all that progress. And we need to figure out what we're going to have the female rulers wear because apparently they can't wear the same headdress that we can. Which is very interesting. That's so weird. Sal just lost their war. Delhi just did their war. Court Granger is going down for some reason that still doesn't make sense, but it'll fix itself soon. Can't make any real decisions right now. Yeah, I, do I don't know, guys. Well, at least this time, maybe we'll get the crown. There's the Terramin Dynasty, absolutely popping off in renown like earlier. We really lost some progress here, didn't we? But at least we have this. Over here, my lord, my master of the horse Mahmood waves me over with a wide grin. I've toiled many days and nights, and finally, my work is done. He presents me with an object wrapped in cloth, and as I lift the fabric, my eyes grow wide. An extravagant crown of masterful craftsmanship. The crown is forged from gold and adorned with intricate filigree that frames a large emerald centerpiece. 6.16 renown, 0.09 prestige, 10 independent ruler opinion, and building construction down 4%. That is a great, great crown. Let's have uh, Meritides be the first to wear it. I think that'll be really... S uh, I can't guarantee it'll get passed down with us. Let's put it on now. The Magnificent Crown. This will be the main thing that Pi contributes in, in his rule. Awesome. Love it. Amazing. Dude, they're losing even faster this time. Pi, we gotta move on, bro. I love you and all, but we gotta move on. Grandson of Amun-Ra. By the Sword Tradition is done. Good. That happened again. Good. Factions are kind of powerful. Fair enough, I suppose. Come on, come on. Oh my god. Suger heated our summons. A giant with 15 prowess. Aspiring Blade Master, too. There's potential here. I love his last name is Bone Kid. You're hired. That's amazing. She cannot lose this war. We have. We have to. Okay. Good. Well done, Timo. We need to pass away soon. Like, just like last time. 
Okay, there it is. Rest in peace, Pi. <laughs> no offense, Pi. No offense, but we had already seen these events play out. And this time it's going even worse for us. We need to pull things back. Oh, never mind. I think they brought it back a little bit. Never mind. I guess things were going exactly the same as last time. Meritides ascends to the throne, a formidable duelist. Many expect her to excel in tournaments and personal combat alike. Oh, hell yeah. That's fire. Again, we lose these unimportant things. And then there we are. The lineage. The three right here. And we gotta figure out what kind of headdress to put on her head. I can't believe we can't wear the same thing. Why not? Doesn't make any sense at all. Continue as Pharaoh Meritides. He's no longer my courteous, so I can no longer support his dream to make armor. Rip. What a tragedy. Pause. Okay. So. Obviously, back to this. Make this the main primary title again. Good. Greater Egypt. We can't change our culture yet. We have to restation our military a little bit. Get these huge bonuses. Hell yeah. They're sieging over there. Oh, where'd our military go? It's not raised? It might not be. So things did go a little bit different. Raise them in Alexandria, where we'll move our capital soon. Where is Radia? Radia is doing something somewhere. Where did she go? Here she is. Disband. And dis Oh, once you're done retreating, disband as well. <laughs> Amasus wants to get back to it. The work will continue. You just said it wasn't going to, but okay. Alright, and then we grab Fecund again. Unlock. That's back down to 35. No lifestyle chosen. Well, I guess we can do this this time, since now we understand how it works. So there's a little blessing in disguise. Scholarship focus. Select. And then we can still do this. Yeah, that actually worked out pretty well, I'd say. That actually worked out pretty well. And then we can go scientific and pedagogy. We'll grab theologian soon. Yeah, I like this better. That actually kind of worked out. Let me get to a save point before I customize how she looks. If you all will forgive me for doing that, since we clearly are having problems with... I think both crashes have happened while we're in the barber shop. I think that's where the main issues are being caused. So let me get to a save point, and then we'll do that. Same people. Anamore, a point. Ankmakis, a point. Notable guests have arrived. An accomplished commander's... Yes. Welcome. Welcome, Xanthos. Sverko. Oh my god, they all, they all left? Grab all of them back. All of them. And Anastasios. I don't remember this one, to be honest. And then we go to our accolades, which are still... Right, right, right. Oh, here we go! Here we go! That's what I'm talking about! We only have two accolades right now because we... Oh, god dang it. Champion of the Bull and Master of the Usamatra Revenue? Destroy both of these. For 150 prestige each? That's kind of crazy, but okay. And they... Oh, hold up. Inactive accolades. Servant of the Sun. I can't reinstate this. Why? Let me play for a second. There we go. Uh, we can appoint Child of the Flame now. Still don't have Servant of the Sun for some reason. Sferico, go ahead. You're a great Child of the Flame. We lost accolade progress during that process, though. That kind of sucks. Don't need the Defender of the Nile title. Destroy it permanently. We don't need this. Destroy it. We don't need this. Destroy it. I'm gonna, I, I want to get Servant of the Sun back, but I don't know how to yet. We'll see. Okay, and then we have then we were doing that. Um we were gonna hold court. We're gonna do a grand tournament soon. Like I said, I wanna get to a save point. I could just quit and then that'll save it. Yeah, let me do that. I'll be right back again. <laughs> this is this is gonna be oh god, I'm gonna have to do so much editing in this video, which is so out of the norm for this type of video. I'll see y'all soon. Let's save. Alright, and we are back. Uh, I don't think we need to isolate the capital, no. Okay. 
Okay, let's try entering the barbershop again. This time, hopefully it doesn't crash. I can't believe the Imperial Crown with headdress doesn't work anymore. We need to come up with a female version, basically. Hmm. What would work as an equivalent? I actually really like that. That's not at all what we're looking for, but in a different playthrough, I'd probably rock that. Hold up, let me put... We do a veil that way. Um, I need a fancier veil. <laughs> Straw hat, nice. Uh, none of that's looking like it's helping, to be honest. A royal veil. But hers is green. Terrible color choice. Um, man, this is actually really tough, to be honest. We could do something along these lines here, but I don't want to. It was so good before. Maybe the Byzantine diadem is just what the female of the royal family wears? Because in the past we'd done that several times. Um, her cloak should be royal. Her clothes should be the Byzantine armor. Her... Interesting. Leg wear. Warrior leg wear. Yeah, that'll work. She she chose the weirdest colors. <laughs> uh, high nobility gloves. Signet ring. Signet ring's kind of fire. Let's add that on. And there's no veil that works well with the crown. Not really. Not a one. Not a single one. Okay. Okay. Uh, by default, she wears earrings. Yeah. Makes sense. And let her wear default that as well. Any face wear that might help? Ooh. Wait a minute. That actually helps a lot, I think. Me personally? The flower crown goes crazy a little bit. That's hilarious. Hold up. I probably won't do this, but... Ah, uh, actually? I don't know, guys. If she has to have these weird non-gold colors, that actually works really well with what she chose to wear. Let me know if, what you guys think about the flower crown. Um, uh, other option is these veils over here. The gold trim veil with wimple. Uh, maybe. It looks a little odd, doesn't it? It's like it doesn't, it's like it's floating above the back of her head right here. I don't know what that's all about. Veil with wimple, veil. Just a veil. That's much better. Do we want the veil? Do we want... Do we want the flower crown? Do we want nothing? Do we want to put get rid of everything here? Man, I don't know. Her, her royal cloak selection is also pure white with green back. What a weird color. Huh. Okay, well... I might stick with the veil. Let me see if this is something I actually want to stick with. I don't know. Nah. I can already tell I don't want to do that. Just kidding. Let's go like this for now. And we'll see. We'll see. Usramatra Setapenra, Meritides of Greater Egypt. The Pharaoh herself. Is she raising her kids? She's raising some random kids. What? 
No. Sorry, Apame. I know you wanted us to raise them, but I got other things to do. Whoops. Sorry, Apame. Oh, it's our first dwarf in the family, I think. Okay. Um, Tetasheri and Aspasia, the twins. And there's also Athenaise. Let's, let's, um, Teddy Sherry first. Let's definitely send to university. Without a doubt. Um, she's pensive, so stewardship and learning. Yeah, that'll be fine. So Teddy Sherry's going to university. And just like the other possible pharaohs before her, I think... I think learning makes a lot of sense, yeah. No longer our wards. We're educating a child. Uh, let's see if this is a boy that we're about to have here. If it's a pure-blooded boy, then Teddy Sherry and the other boy can... be perfect for each other. You can't create an accolade. I don't want to, though. Xanthos was already good for this job. Yeah, let Xanthos do it. He's fantastic. Okay, good. Child of the Flame. I don't know why we can't appoint Servant to the Sun yet, but we'll figure it out. We'll get it. We'll get it. We need to win this war first before we can even go back to the Sunborn culture. So let's hold court, see what's going on. <clears throat> we look better already. At least we got that going for us. Oh, no. We gotta get rid of Arma's little Christian... Th oh my god! What kind of... <laughs> the barber the barber shop is so bugged out, dude. What? Oh my god, that's crazy. He's he like missing his face with some of the options. All right, and then we give him the imperial crown with headdress, because he's a guy with head wrap. Yes, he chose to go with the see white, red, and gold. I can vibe with that. Arma chose some good colors. That's way better than what Pi had set up for himself. I dig that Arma. I dig that. Welcome back one last time. I I have I have figured <laughs> I've figured out what the bug is. It's not barbershop specifically. It's headwear two. I cannot I cannot mess with headwear two. If I click on this, see how it's even like off center even? Like this is from a mod. Headwear two is from a mod that's allowing this to happen, and the mod is being finicky right now. It is angry. Like, one out of three times I open this bar, it crashes the whole game. So we're not touching that bar. Not touching it. Nope. Not gonna touch it. Uh, Byzantine Diadem 1. There it is. Leg wear. Eastern Warrior wear. Earring set. Everything. Why is it so quiet? There it goes. There was, like, no music or anything. I was like, what, a, what is happening? Okay. I cannot touch the other option. I can't. Ah. Oh, we tripled the amount of crashes we've had in this one episode, and it's it's tilted me slightly, but I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna be all right. Pure crown with head wrap. At least this time we had saved pretty recently, so we didn't have to go back through everything again. Wait, I passed it, didn't I? There it is. Good. That'll work for now. Looking good there. Looking good. All right, here's the royal family. Huh, okay, then we gotta go to Tetasheri again, <laughs> send her to university again. Hoi, oi, oi. Yep, there we go. No, with me, with me, with me. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me get rid of my wards again. Sorry. And then Tetasheri, educate child from me. I'm her ward, send her to university, go. Make her focus on learning. Go. We've got this. I'm, ne I'm never touching... I'm probably never touching that bar again. You can't make me. <laughs> you can't make me. Alright. This military will be good to go in six days. And Radia is ready to lead them. Um, Zverko is not bad if he needs to take over at any point. I miss the lion, man. He's a vassal of my realm. Why aren't you eligible to be my warrior? 
That's very interesting. Oh, God, this council needs help. Oh, no. Sundara Devi, Arsino. Yeah, our family's not good at diplomacy, are they? Here's Ebi and Amanakt at 18 and 16, but compared to 29, pass. And that'll make her like us more. We do need to make her like us, otherwise it's dangerous. Radia is not long for this world, but she's great right now. Wait a minute. Severico's just as good and long for this world. Severico, go. Excellent. Steward. That might be as good as it gets. EB! Member of the family, too. House Turid. Aren't, didn't you say those are Tullinids in disguise? Ugh, disgusting. Get him off the council. Abdul Kadir, 32. I don't think I can beat that. No, but Peppy's damn close and he's a Terraman, so... Sorry. Hey, Peppy. And then Jur, who's an absolute unit, of course. Jur's getting really skinny. What happened? I guess she's not as skinny as I thought. I don't know. She looks a little skinny in that image, but okay. Dude, look at the bonuses Armok could give us. Oh, whoa. 13 Marshall if we wanted to lead our militaries. Dude, wait a minute. I kind of do want to lead our militaries. 13, that would be a big advantage. Imagine? I, I don't know. That's that's kind of crazy. Radia's still better, apparently. Yeah, that's right, because he's already giving us some Marshall and Assist Ruler. That's right, that's right, that's right. Okay, we don't need Enter Seclusion or Isolate Capital. We have all these other things we can do. Okay, go to my university. I'm waiting to see if we have a son that is pure-blooded. Child of the Flame is already selected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why Servant of the Sun works yet. I'm hoping that when we go into the Sunborn culture, that'll fix it. We'll see. All of this, all of this will be fixed by the Sunborn culture. The champion number and all that good stuff. I mean, not as high as Mankare had it, but it'll get better. Okay, grant vassals to their rightful lieges. Arsenal of Suba of Sube could go to Jur. Yeah, that makes total sense. Make it happen. And Shren Pata to Ebi. Where is this at? Who are you? Oh, over here. Oh, yeah, that makes complete sense. Grant. Oh, wow. Sharen Pata, okay. Potential here? Let me I have daughters, you know. <laughs> I have I have daughters. I don't know if you know this. Hundred and five! What do you mean a hundred and five? It can go over a hundred? What do you mean? <laughs> Okay, I don't have daughters you can marry. I'm sorry. <laughs> what do you mean 105? That's not even real. All right, my brother Ramon is 14 years old. We need to get this man on the market. Arrange a marriage. God, there's really no one I can I can set him up with, is there? He's probably going to find his Oh, he's not in our court. Why are all these people not in our court? They're wandering? Why? That doesn't make any sense. All of you, come on in. You should all be at my court, your family. No, I don't want to be the culture out of the ancient Egyptian culture. I don't want to. Alright, now let's hold court. We're looking good. Here are the petitioners. Wow, it's been a long road getting here. <laughs> Sitting on my throne, I gesture for my... Actually, I really like her whole get-up. Now that we're seeing it in this light, in with the throne in the background and all that. Severico, yeah. There's Arma right there looking good. I actually really like how this turned out. They got Menkare's eyes. Check their eyeballs. They got Menkare's eyes. That's so fire. Like, kind of fiery, actually. That's so cool. Xanthos looking like a stud as well. I actually really like her whole getup. I'm going to keep it like this, probably. That looks really good. All right, just for the first line to approach. Holding court for the first time. My nephew, Ankmakis, comes forward apprehensively escorted by his wife, Kaondan, who seems to be in bad temper. She spouts up. My lady, Ahatia Lagus, is trying to seduce my husband. An affront to Amun-Ra. He's never liked me. It must be him. Lagus is trying to... 
Interesting. Akamaga is clearly embarrassed to have this aired so publicly. I don't blame you. We shall see if there's any truth to this. Are we good at intrigue? I gotta get you. Okay, let me look at Meritides again. I gotta get used to what we're good at. Meritides is diplomatic, has surprisingly good martial, incredible prowess. Her stewardship's a little lacking, and her intrigue is all right. And then her learning is pretty good, but nothing compared to Jur or Menkares. All right. We're only distinguished and devoted servant? Oh, no. Oh, we gotta get to work on this. You are the pharaoh of greater Egypt. We're not gonna fly with distinguished and devoted servant. No, 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 no. No, those are gonna get better. I will not tolerate adulterers in my courts. Let me, let me check Lagos here. Let me see if this adds up. Is he gay? He's straight. I don't think this is true. Let me see if there's any truth to this. Yeah, he denies any involvement. I don't blame him. If he's straight and you're claiming he's trying to seduce this straight guy, I don't know about that. No Mark Adriano stands before you, his face grave with concern. My lady, the threat of the Eastern Roman Empire weighs heavy on my mind. Basilius Raphael looms across the border, he points. Only days from the gates of Famagusta and House of Famagusta's hearths. You must help fortify my lands. Cypriot soldiers and fortifications are all that stand between Greater Egypt and Ruined. I don't know about that exactly. Days, we must fortify the capital. You speak true. You, you get a weak hook on him. And he gets frontier ramparts for 15 years. There are no threat. Adrianos is reassured 100%. Nice. All board, burdened by the risks of war. He loses 10 opinion, but vassals get plus 5. Yeah, that's actually really nice for us. That is a crazy getup I'm looking at. Do you see this? <laughs> She's also basically bald underneath the veil. What? That is a crazy... And she's got a peg leg? Yo! No more Sundara Devi! That, was, that is so cool! She has this get up and she's got a peg leg? What? Hold up. <laughs> it looks so much more normal from the front and then you turn her around. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> okay, sure. Alright, cool. Cool, cool. Oh, yeah, go back to the court of it. Alright, anyway, you were saying? Sorry, I didn't listen to a word you said. I was distracted. My Chancellor, no more Sundar and Devi, rearranges her dress before stepping forward to voice his petition. I love she even readdressed, like, reorganizes her dress that we were just pointing out. My liege, I seek your aid in combating the issue of bandits harassing the modest people of Condoba. She pauses to sigh. I cannot fix the problem with the resources I have. I ask for any aid you have to spare. Oh, we can, we, we can be so free with our gold now that we're not playing as a greedy character. Playing as zealous, humble, and impatient. So basically, straight up piety as the great great granddaughter of Amun Ra, with you know we throw impatient in there. Got it. I'll give you some gold to solve the problem. We want our vassals to like us. We have some issues at the moment. My business here is done. What's our legitimacy looking like? Speaking of, oh, we are ordained. Absolutely. Vassal pins at plus sixteen for personal diplomacy. This guy is not digging us, to be honest. Could learn his language. We know no languages other than Egyptian? Oh, no. Yeah, let's get working on that. Also her. Yeah, we have some problems. We definitely have some problems we need to work out. We're going to have some work ahead of us here. Uh, but let's finish this war so that we can focus on other things. Anything small we can do while we're waiting for this war to happen. A grand right would be great. Yeah, grand right would be really good. You don't need a travel or anything like that. Yeah, alright. Start the grand right. Begins in seven months. That's a little long, but okay. Alright, the professional army is raised. Go wipe them out. It won't even be close. Ramon, you made it to court. Good. Prince Ramon of Greater Egypt. Ooh, Prince Ramon. What's our succession looking like right now? 
Hi, my cousin. What? Aspatia is set to inherit these things. Greater Egypt. Oh, really? Doesn't Outer Ajaron have a... Oh, that's the kingdom. Got it. Kingdom of Egypt election. Uh, interesting. Aspatia is not pure-blooded, so I don't want her to take over, to be honest. Mmm... Right now, Pi is the winning vote for both. People are really on board the Pi train. I can kinda see it. My cousin Pi is a very talented man. He's a very talented man. Yeah, that's pretty impressive, actually. He's got a great personality, too. Alright, let's go get him. <sighs> Duke Jim of the Second has created a Liberty Faction against you. I'm not surprised. Tell you what. We're going to solve some of our problems with money, I think. He's offering 15% of the power. Wait, I have artifacts I could send as a gift. Artifacts I don't want. Like this prize brooch. Give us 9 opinion? That's not great, to be honest. I want an ancient Egyptian urn. 9 opinion. Okay, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. There. Those people will now leave the independence faction, which is great. And we'll make them love us more later. Man, they love money. Are you kidding me? Mahmood and Tahir just rolled over for that money. They went straight up to plus 100. Gained 106 opinion and 113 opinion. And losing 3 a year. Just for 150 gold each. Absolutely rolled that over. No, they're about to leave. We're good. They won't raise. Yeah, we're fine. Because people are leaving. Yep. Your vassal Siaka created the Dissolution Faction. Golly, guys. Calm down. It's a lot going on right now. Yeah, they're definitely not happy, huh? Gonna get the direct vassal opinion up to 15 eventually with her. Radia is gonna go take care of this. We have the defensive advantage. They have a better commander? Damn, who's their commander? Oh, Sinna the... No, I doubt it's Sinna the Stout. She's not that good. Sinna... Samuths... They have the lion on their side! That's the issue! Oh, man! Are you serious? We can't... We can't... The lion is on their side? That's tough. Good thing our professional army is beyond anything they could possibly comprehend. Okay, faction disbanded. Excellent. Look at how many factions there are, dude. That's why I didn't want to declare war before this happened. Because that's crazy. We only have nine champions. We don't have any champions in this army, actually. Whoops. That's right. This professional army will never lose. Alright, negative 11 advantage against the Lion. They have 35 champions to our zero. Time to see how strong this professional army really is. Yeah, look at that. One of our Valiant Soldiers has managed to slay the enemy champion, Hadia Pedabastus. I don't like that. Why did you do that? I don't want them to slay these important Terramans, dude. Ah! Okay, just a lowborn. That's fine. Yep, that's the whole military gone. And we just captured eight people. The Slaughter at Fustat. 124 to 5440 against the Lion, no less. Because our military is professional as hell. All eight prisoners were just captured. Okay, got it. That means Agape is in someone else's prison. Interesting. Hatia Nicodemus. He can ransom himself, I suppose. Kamara should have died in battle. Interesting. Active tyranny? Interesting. I don't know about a tyranny. That seems a bit much. None of them can ransom themselves. That's a bunch of random people I don't even know. What's the war target? What? This? All for our... This is all for one place. You're serious. For one county. You went against your pharaoh for one county? Are you crazy? Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> what did that say? Make sure he never bothers you again. That's funny. I'm gonna wait for the war to be over before I release anybody. My son! We did have a son! I have given birth to a perfect little son. Who will you become, my child, and what shall I call you? And he's pure-blooded to boot. Seti is actually a really good name. Ah, uh, and it happened twice. That says all I need it to say. Um... Yeah, Seti is a great name. May you grow strong and wise, my son. Prince Seti of Greater Egypt. Yes. Arrange marriage with Tedesheri. 66%? They're both pure-blooded. What are you talking about? How? That doesn't make any sense. They're pure-blooded. Hold up. I gotta let that play out for a bit. I'm really confused by that. Because apparently the chance can go over 100%, which I had no idea about. That's really that's really new to me, to be honest. Siaka created the dissolution faction again. Good for you, man. The Smelly. Everybody loves you, clearly. Lagos of Jalula. And then the dissolution faction immediately went away again. Eusebia, thank you. Alexandria, anything else we can be working on? Extended routes. We do not need levies. Can I get rid of this? Yeah, replace this building with something else. Hospices would be good. Hmm. Heavy cavalry damage plus 20% of stables? Yes. Army movement speed? Yes. That, please. Replace it with the stables. Fatima joins our courts. I don't know why, but okay. I actually don't mind that. She's pretty talented for 11. Thetima. Alright, once I take this back, that'll help. And now we just need to take this back, which shouldn't take too long, and then war over. Okay. Maritides, you got thrown right into the fire, didn't you? There is there are revolts everywhere. Like the whole empire, as soon as Menkare died, like everything got thrown to the wasteland a little up to the sides a little bit. Vineyard, now we have a small vineyard. And then Al Buhaira, right here. We can go from God's house, donate a patch of non arable land to a local religious order, to an infirmary. Oh, hell yeah, for plague resistance and development growth? That's fantastic. We will do this yet, except we just need to get this war over so we can move our capital and get our culture sorted. And then we'll probably call it an episode there because, come on. This was crazy what happened. Troth can marry. I do not care about these people, so sure, go ahead. Excellent. 40 days until that's up. Restore accolades decision. Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. Send the herald. 600. Oh my god. Wait a minute. Hold up on that. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up on that. What titles can I make? Any kingdom titles? I can. Gujarat. Create that title. And Malwa. Create that title. There we go. 400 prestige. 800 prestige right there. Taken care of. And now I feel better about doing the restore accolades. Send the herald. So we just don't have someone who fits Servant of the Sun. That's kind of weird. But okay. Sure. Sure. This is almost over. Okay, we've embraced the... By the sword. Oh, now both cultures have by the sword. That's it. Whoa, 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 where did that say? Pharaoh Meritides Pox and where? In Sanar. Oh. We have a Pox named after us. That's not great. <laughs> that's, that's not excellent. I know he can be appointed as the Servant of the Sun. That's always been the case. Whatever works, game. <laughs> Whatever makes you happy, to be honest. Here, Servant of the Sun, Sans Snow. This is the guy, right here. Thank you. It's a shame that he lost all that progress because of Minkare passing away, but whatever, fine. 
Okay. We'll be able to do that soon. Jer finished Convert Faith and Ganali. Good. Do we want to keep converting Faith? Or do we just want to make five piety a month? No, we want to keep converting Faith. Nestorian. Let's get it over here. Yeah, let's start spreading it in India a bit. Um, here sounds like a good spot. In less than a year, she'll do it. Let's go. Alright, this siege is just about over. Secret exposed. No Terramans involved. I am lost for words. Apparently. How is that... Here, hold. It's about to change. There it is. 39. That should allow us to white piece. Ooh, we can get 500 gold out of her? What? It's actually not that much. <laughs> it's actually not that much. And I need this... We need this war over with ASAP. We usually would not allow this, but we're impatient, and we have more important things to do. So a white piece will be fine. Sina, what were you thinking? What were you thinking? Is there a way we could win this quickly? Probably not, huh? Ugh. We are impatient. It's just, if we don't enforce these demands, we're setting a bad precedent for people trying to take over when the next pharaoh reigns. Man. Man, oh man. Let's stop here um, instead. I'm running out of... I've been recording for well over an hour and a half because of all the crashing and all that good stuff. So I need to have time to actually edit this down and release it on time tomorrow. So we're going to call it here for now. Meritides is 37. Arma is 25. So they're very they're in excellent health. Very good health. Uh, so we're going to be playing as Pharaoh Meritides for a long time. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. If you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. But either way, thank you so much for joining me on this journey in Crusader Kings 3 tours and tournaments. Next time, we're going to get things in order. This dark ritual will be happening in a little over a month. Hopefully, we can wrap up this war with Sinna real quick. If you guys think I should white peace because Meritides is impatient, let me know. But, yeah, I think that's it. I think we're good. Thank you again so much. And we'll see all of you with our new pharaoh that we're going to become very accustomed to and spend a lot of time with next time. Just a reminder, this is your last chance to leave any comments that I'm going to see for the next three days. Once I've recorded the next episode, I'm going to have to record two more for my family visiting. So, please, anything you want me to see in the next three days, comment in the next 24 hours. I'll see all you soon.